Welcome to Professor Jeff's videos on learning. Today, I will answer the following question in two minutes. What is working memory? Working memory is the cognitive system that holds and processes information. Let's have a look at the four components of this definition. First, this system refers to six brain regions that show increased blood flow when certain similar cognitive tasks involving holding and processing data are performed. Most of these regions are located in your frontal lobes. Second, the first function of working memory is to hold information. It's like a mental sticky note that enables you to keep track of the information you need at the moment. But this ability is limited in two ways. First, it can only retain about seven elements or chunks at a time. This is your memory span. So, if you need to buy more than seven items at a store, you'd better have a list or use your long-term memory. Second, this memory is temporary, which means you quickly need to decide what to do with the information. If you want to keep it, you have to encode it in your long-term memory. Third, the job of your working memory is not only to hold information, but also to process it. And this is where it becomes different from your short-term memory. It enables you to achieve any task that requires manipulation of information, such as planning, reasoning, and any type of problem solving. In that sense, working memory is highly correlated with fluid intelligence and is one of your most important mental faculties. Finally, the information processed by this system comes from both your environment and your long-term memory. To sum up, working memory is the ability to keep some bits of information accessible in mind and perform cognitive operations on them. Thank you for watching this presentation and see you soon.